Here it is. My good luck jacket. Good luck sweater? You believe in luck? Well, after this jacket, it got me a date with Sexy Rexy. So, I don't want to take any chances on my first day of sophomore year of college. So you went on a date with someone, and even though they're gorgeous, they still have a dog's name, and you're okay with that. Amy, names don't define people. Well, hey, do you remember the time we were at the park and he caught a frisbee with his mouth? So it makes the game more funnier that way? Please, Jennifer, that sweater's not lucky. Want to bet on it? Sure, what do you want to bet on? Flipping a coin three times. Heads or tails? Okay, um, here's a coin. What do you want to call first? Heads. Heads. Okay, beginner's luck. What's your next call? <laughs> Heads. <laughs> Heads again. Did you, like, rake this thing or something? Well then, I'm calling tails now. Tails, that's it. This sweater's lucky. I'm borrowing it next. <laughs>
I had a very awful morning. I hated it. There were very perky people around and I wanted to bite their heads off. Oh, well, that sounds good. Anyways, what's your first class? Look, I'm gonna cut to it. Do you play Club Dingo? Uh, yeah. Really? Do you have a membership card? Yeah, it's locked in my room in a box. Why do you ask? Why is it locked in a box? Because my roommate Amy, she'll get all wired in the game and sh with the energy and she'll start drinking a lot of energy drinks and then she'll get all emotional and then she'll snap my computer in half. So that's why it's locked in a box. Well, I'm borrowing it, okay? Okay, sure, why not? Okay, so this is the main hallway, and it's decorated in better wear than we were last year, so just ignore it. Yeah, we were down here already, and it looked tacky. I'm telling you, Bradley, that kangaroo in Club Dingo is whacking the head. Amy, we all know how emotional you get when you play Club Dingo. I do not get emotional. I don't trust that Lynx kid. Someone ruined my art project by punching a hole in the canvas. And whoever did it, their reputation will never be redeemed again. Lynx did it. Oh, Jennifer, uh, it looks like I maxed out your Club Dingo card and all your other membership cards as well. Aww. It's okay, Lynx. I just... You did it. You did it. What? Me? No, I did no such thing. Blake, what's the matter with you? You purchased this painting, didn't you? Blake, can I talk to you in the hall just for a second? What? Fine. Lynx, just play with my expired dingo card, or just make up something. Blake, I'm talking to you. Okay, Blake, why are you acting a little nuts in front of the new kid? Why? Because I believe there is something very off about him. And why do you assume that? Maybe he's just insecure like Amy, and you're fine around her. You know, it's not fun going to a new school and just being accused of certain things and being picked on all the time, just like how Samantha has been picking on me since day one. I'm not picking on him. I'm just assuming he's a lot of danger. Okay, Blake, you are way in over your head on this one. It's like you've been dropped three times by your mom when you were a baby. You're having some weird Amanda Bynes, schizophrenic chip side effect malfunction or something. No, and by the way, I was dropped four times, not three. Get your facts straight. Well then, fact, you are clearly jealous. Huh? You know what? I'm out of here. <sighs> oh, it sucks. Our, my art project got destroyed when we were in Miss Stubborn's class all of a sudden. Yeah, spilling a whole tub of mixed paint and then it all falling on your art project was a tragedy, Jennifer. Yeah. Hey, I'm gonna see you later. Whatever. I hate goodbyes. Hey, so how's your new boyfriend doing? Amy, he is not my boyfriend, he is just... Bad luck, Joe? Well, he told me not to even call him his friend or anything associated with that, so... I'm gonna call him... Well, think about it. A lot of bad things have happened to you lately, ever since he came to Arctic. He maxed out your game card, he lost your wallet, he destroyed your art project, and he even made you lose your friendship with Blake. Wow, I didn't realize. Wait a minute. Lynx is a jinx. Oh my god, okay. 
for now on, I'm just going to stay away from him. That's good. That's very good. And now, if only you could get closer to me... Not going to happen. In a million years. Anyways, Amy, let's get ready for our costume design class. Bradley, we'll see you there soon. Okay, I feel this top is way too tight on me, so maybe I should strip down and just get naked and... <gasps> um... Lynx, what are you doing in here? Get. Out. Uh... Hey, Jinx Lynx, give me back that file. Let's get him! Stop! One more step and I'm going to expose all of this information on your school website, which has three viewers. God, you guys, you guys don't really keep your social media updated, do you? Whoa! Whoa! Hey! Give me my phone and those files back! I was hoping. What in John Legend Lane is going on out here? Why don't you ask the new student? Uh, why is my new student in a net? I was trying to build a new reputation this year, people. Well, can you ask him why he stole, he tried to jinx me and my friends and tried to steal my private information? Wait, seriously? You know, Mr. Lynx, what's your last name? No last name. Okay, Mr. No Last Name, why did you do all of this? Because last year I was supposed to get into the school until purple haired troll girl stole my place here. I had to find her and figure out who she was and then make out that she was the most untalented witch in the whole school. He called me a purple troll. Someday I might find you again, Jennifer Klotz, because this is not over. Okay, security, take him away. Wow, Blake, you were right about Lynx this whole time. I'm so sorry I got mad at you. Hey, Ruby. Yeah, Jennifer was so gullible. And about how she believed everything the Jinx told her. <laughs> I know! So stupid.